Hi everybody, it's Lindy. Welcome back to my channel. I have another palette from bulk.com that I'm going to unveil to you today. So this one looks just a hair different than the last one that I did. This palette is a palette of merchandise in boxes rather than a Gaylord like this one. The last one that I just did was a Gaylord which is one giant box filled with things. This is a palette that has just a bunch of merchandise in its original packaging that is wrapped with some crazy paper cling wrap stuff, whatever you want to call it. This palette I paid $95 for. $95. I did have to pay to ship it though. And bulk.com, it's $200 flat rate for every palette. So total, I paid $295 for this palette. And it has a little over a thousand dollars worth of merchandise. Let me double check. It has $1,021 worth of merchandise. Now, this palette is uninspected returns. That means that everything that is on this palette was taken back to the department store and the buyer was refunded and the store did not ch double check the condition of the items. So I don't know if some things in here are broken, I don't know if some things in here don't run, or maybe they're missing pieces, or maybe somebody just put something random back inside the box or returned it to the store. So uninspected returns are always a gamble, Woo. but it could pay off really big because if every single item in here is what it's supposed to be and it's all put together, I can make some really big money. So most of the items, let me, oh, we got a blade. Most of the items on this palette are children's toys. Sorry, lost my train of thought. I was walking around. Uh, most of these are children's toys and I plan on selling almost everything locally. If I don't get a lot of, um, if I don't get a lot of interest locally, then I'm going to put them on Mercari strictly because of the ease of the bulky, heavy shipping on Mercari. So I'm gonna sell them, like literally, everything is going to be listed local using Facebook Marketplace or Let Go or Offer Up or Craigslist. Everything on this pack. I'm worried that this first thing is gonna fall off the top the more I unwrap. So there should be 21 items on this palette. Again, let me double check. 21, yep, I was right. 21 items on this palette with an average cost per item of around $14 at my cost. So for time's sake, I'm not going to open everything and check everything on film. Um, I'm gonna have to do that at a later time. But the first thing, Already, to me, I'm gonna take that back because I just looked at the other side. I was getting ready to say to me it looks like this was just returned unopened. It does look like it was opened on the other side. But, whoop! Hopefully we can see here. This is a child's McLaren push sports car. I'm pretty sure now, since we are not going to be taking the time to, uh, to open it up and make sure that it's complete, I at least want to find the eBay resale value. Okay, so on eBay right now, brand new in box, these are selling for in between $112 and $125. So, if I open this bad boy up and it is complete and I can sell this, I will ask for $100 locally and if $100 doesn't get any takers, then I'll drop it down to 80 or $75 local. But when I sell it locally, I'm definitely gonna have it put together first. And my battery's about to die. Let's switch that out. All right, 
Battery has changed. So I went ahead and pulled it down because it was sliding and that didn't seem very safe. I can't help it. I wanna, I wanna look at it. Cause yeah, like I said, I'm gonna start for a hundred dollars locally. And if there's no biters with a hundred, I'm going to do 75 or $80 locally. But it looks good to me. It, I think all the parts are in here. Um, the big decision is going to be, do I put it together and sell it locally or keep it taken apart and left in the box in case I sell it online? That's gonna be the big question and I don't have the answer to that yet. Um, I'm probably not gonna put it together to start with. We'll have to see how it feels. This is all new to me. This is all new to me. This is all unchartered territory that we're branching off into for this next coming year. Okay, so this I kind of don't care about at all. And it's broken. Um, it's, yeah, it's definitely broken, which having that heavy push car on top of it, of course it's gonna be broken. Come on, bulk. That's like, Duh. But anyway, I didn't care about this anyway. I wasn't gonna do anything with it. It's just one of those poster board frames. Um, it, this is garbage. I'm gonna take the $14 loss on this and just be like, bye-bye. I think if everything, if I do good with everything else, I can take a $14 loss on the, the frame. All right, so there are a few of these. There are a few of these, hopefully we can see. It is a Union Arch safety gate. These gates are in, like, they're by Summer Infant. They're really good gates. They sell for 50 or $60 brand new. On eBay, they're selling for like 40 or $50 still. So I just need to, it's definitely been opened. I just need to go back, open the box, and make sure all the pieces are there. And if all the pieces are there, then I'm pretty sure that I can sell that and get at least $40 for it locally. This is a Little Tykes Spinning Seas water table. Uh, so brand new, these are only like 30 or $40, but I plan to sell this for $25 locally. I just need to verify all the parts are in here. Maybe I should have shown you the other side. The other side has the pretty color picture. So that's what it is. It's a fun little water table. So I would expect I can easily sell that locally for $25, if not $30. Um, I always do a little bit under for local because if I've found with local sales, if you price exactly like it is on Amazon or eBay or something like that, they are more likely to just order it online and have it delivered to their house rather than have to coordinate with another person to pick it up. So I always try to go a little bit under what they can pay for retail just to give them that incentive to buy it from me instead of buying it online. So my husband and I actually bought this for Benjamin last, I think it was his last birthday, his third birthday, and he loves it. So this, I'll be selling locally for probably $30. It sells new for around $40 or $50. So locally, I'll probably try to get $30 or $35 out of it. Just have to make sure that all of the pieces are there. All the pieces are there. Probably just put it together and sell it. Okay, so here we have a standard umbrella streller. Um, did I really just say umbrella streller? Umbrella stroller. So these umbrella strollers are not worth a lot. They're probably worth maybe 15 or $20 brand new. So this is probably something I'll just list for maybe 10 bucks and try to get most of my money back on it. That's not gonna go there because there's wheels on it. But I probably won't even bother selling it online because they're so cheap in the store already, it's not gonna be worth the time to ship it. So I'll just sell it locally for 10 bucks. 
So this is technically an umbrella stroller as well, but it's a more top of the line umbrella stroller. It's more of a regular standard stroller. Uh, it's just a lot more lightweight. It's Jeep, can't even tell. Let's see, there we go. It's a North Star stroller. Uh, easy navigation by Jeep, Jeep. Um, not sure of the resale value on this. It's not in the forefront of my brain, but I could probably sell this locally for 25 or $30 because I'm pretty sure that it's selling for 50 or 60 online. Um, so maybe I'll try to go for 40 on it. We'll have to see. I'm going to have to check, uh, check comparable pricing to see how much, but I'm going to shoot for 40, especially because it looks completely like it, the box has never been opened. So I'll probably just open the box and verify that it is the proper stroller that's in here and I'll list it for as much as I can get out of it local. Here we have one of these Sterilite nice drawers. They're the plastic. They have like the, the wicker woven weave, whatever you want to call it. This, I don't know if I'll keep it. Um, and use it in my house somewhere or if I'll sell it at a garage sale. Um, it is busted, unfortunately. It's probably something that happened in transit and that's unfortunate. It's broken right here. I don't know if you can see. It's broken right here. So it's probably something that I'll just keep in the house and use uh, somewhere in the house if we need it. Maybe put it in my oldest son's room or something. Uh, or I'll sell it at a garage sale. I'm sure even with that crack, I can still get 15 or 20 out of it because these things are normally pretty expensive because they're really nice and sturdy. Okay, here is another one of those water tables. Another one of the water tables. Again, just need to make sure all the parts are there. Uh, sell it for, you know, 30 bucks or so. So I did have the strategy of selling all of this stuff locally when I bought it because big bulky stuff, yes, you can make money on uh, selling it online, but shipping does tend to eat into a lot of your profits. So in my head, in my idea was that children's items, you can easily sell locally to parents that don't want to pay retail price. You can cut them a deal and you don't have to worry about paying for shipping. And another benefit to selling locally over selling online aside from the shipping is that it's your money back instantly. So I am planning on listing these for sale locally as fast as I can. And as soon as they sell, I'll have all of my money back in my pocket so I can turn that cash flow into more items to sell. So that is another big benefit to selling locally as opposed to selling online. Okay, here's another, woo, here's another one of those gates, but this one doesn't have a box. So this is definitely getting sold locally. Uh, it looks like it's complete. To me, it looks like all the pieces are there, um, but I'll have to verify and make sure. I wonder what happened to the box. Here's another one of the gates in the box. So this is a wall tapestry. It's just some decoration. Uh, this I will probably not try to sell locally. If I do, it'll be at a garage sale. Um, I might try listing it. I don't know, but I don't know if a wall piece will sell very well on the Facebook marketplace or not. Uh, I could definitely see it selling on eBay or Mercari. Um, so we'll just have to see. We'll have to see how I am moved. But these, I believe, were online for about $30. All right, got to get out the blade again. Uh, another one of those gates. I think there was only four, so this should be the fourth one. So this one, it did get scuffed up because it's sticking out the top here. It did get kind of scuffed up, but I don't know if that's going to knock off any money or not. Okay, so this big box, I'm not going to be able to pick up. Just, get, just saying that right now. So I'm going to get the boxes around it. Okay, so... This doesn't even look like it's been open. This looks completely unopened, but it is an ANSI Pants Build and Play Vehicle Kit. 
It's a four by four. Um, it comes with just a bunch of poles. See, you can see it's just a bunch of poles. Um, and then you put the, uh, the cover on it. So the retail price was $49.99. The clearance sticker says $35. I'll probably try to sell this for 20 bucks locally. Uh, because I did look it up on eBay when I was comparing the, uh, the manifest and the manifest said that it was selling for 35. I looked on eBay and it was selling for $25. So I'll probably try to sell them locally for 20. And there are two, I have two of those and both boxes do look completely unopened. They are still factory sealed. So thank you. I don't have to count sticks. I appreciate that. That was honestly one of the things I was really worried about with the uninspected returns was that these little play kits were going to be opened and I was going to have to count out dozens and dozens of poles to make sure that all of the sets were complete. But here's another kit and it looks sealed still. So it does not look like anybody has opened it. It's still factory sealed. So that is awesome. I'm not gonna have to count. This is another ANSI pants build and play. Uh, this one, however, is for a house. It's a small kit to basically build whatever you want. It looks like has different size poles. It's got the snap connectors and you just build whatever you want to, uh, again, probably sell it for 20 bucks locally. Yeah, the the sticker on that one says brand new is $29.99 and the clearance price was $20. So I'll probably sell $20 for that too. Or ask $20 for it. Oh, I wasn't so lucky with this kit. Okay, so it's another one of those ANSI pants play kits, but this one is definitely open. So I'm gonna my bat, oh, my timer. It wasn't my battery, it was my timer. Okay, so this I'm definitely gonna have to count and make sure all of the pieces are here because it has definitely been opened. Here's another one, but this one is sealed just like the other two. Just looks like number was, what, how many did I have? Crap, I don't even know how many I have. One, two, it looks factory sealed. I've even lost track. So, so far the good news is almost everything that is sellable, I'm easily gonna make my money back and then a profit. Um, but like these little things, since my cost of goods was right around $14 per item, if I'm selling these for 20 bucks, it's only gonna be like a $5 profit. But like that push car, that push car is gonna be like 60 or $70 depending. The, uh, the activity desk, that's gonna be like 15 or $20 after my cost. The gates, if I sell the gates for thir even just $30, that's gonna be another 15, 30, $60 profit on just those, not even counting this big sucker here. Oh boy, I can't pick it up and it's in a box. Here we have some wall decor. Uh, list price was 20, or I'm sorry, $44.99. Clearance price was $31.48. Would probably try to sell that locally for 20 bucks. There is another tapestry under this box. It's the exact same as this one. It's just blue instead of gray. Okay, yeah, that's everything. So that tapestry is just blue instead of the gray. Let me find the manifest photo. See, that's something that I really like is that I can actually see on the manifest what is coming. Oh, no, that's what it was. It wasn't, it wasn't a motor car. It is, it's a Hirsch filing cabinet. Now this, I looked it up and they are selling new in box for $170. So I just have to decide what I'm going to do with it. It is very heavy. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna to try to sell it locally. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but you could see it's very large. 
It's very large and it's very heavy. Um, I will probably try to sell it locally and if I can sell it locally, I'm sure I can easily sell it for a hundred bucks. So, that would be an excellent profit, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it just yet. We're gonna have to see. Um, I would be interested in selling it Merchant Fulfilled on Amazon, but I've never done freight before. So if you have any tips on shipping freight, big old heavy items like that, it easily weighs 70 pounds. It's really heavy. Put it down in the video comments. Give me, give me some advice on selling something like this, uh, like this filing cabinet online. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and videos like it, please give it a thumbs up so that I know. If you have any questions or comments, stick them down in the comments below. Don't forget the video description for useful links. And please subscribe if you wish to see more content. And I will see you guys with my next video. Bye.